Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to apply materials and textures to the chair to make it look more realistic. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is a texture. So you need a texture for fabric and wood. And I have already done a little bit of a search here. You need to Google, do an image search for seamless fabric texture. And you're going to find all kinds of examples. Not all of them are going to be good or appropriate. For example, you don't want something with a pattern on it because we're not going to put UV mapping on this object. And so, you know, it won't look right. It's going to be distorted and we don't want to see the distortion. We want to minimize that. So just look for something that's kind of a woven fabric. And you also want to look for something that's sort of an appropriate 70s kind of color. I think I'm going to use this one. You got to make sure that they don't have any watermarks on them. And I don't see any on this one. So once you find the texture that you want in Google, bring up this large preview here and right click and select save image as. Now I have my Chrome browser set up to ask me where to put downloads. And you can do the same. I suggest you turn this on right here. And once you do, when you right click and select save image as, it will ask you, where do you want me to put this? Now I am on a Windows PC, but it doesn't matter. Your Mac browser will pop up just like this. Find your project folder and put this texture image in your source images folder inside your project folder and click save. And then do another image search for polished wood texture, seamless, click images. And you'll find all sorts of images for something like that. Now I'm going to pick something maybe that looks, oh, I don't know, something without a whole lot of grain in it. Maybe something like that. But I don't think this is seamless because it's rectangular. But I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going to right click, save image as, and just go ahead and save it. Now it'll go to that folder again for me. Then I'm going to try to find a square one. Something like this. That's probably too big. I'll try this one. And then I think I will also try this one. So now I have some good possibilities for wood. So once you've found some textures, what you need to do is select your cushions and your piping. And you can do that in here. Notice I've renamed mine. So I can select them in the outliner. And you should do the same thing. And then you're going to right click once you've selected everything. And you're going to go assign new material. We're going to use an Arnold material. AI standard surface material and then that should pop up in your attributes editor. If it if you don't have your attributes editor open, open it and you will see the material. And then under the color slot right here, click this little checker box. Select 2D textures, file, and then this will pop up and then click the folder. And Maya should take you straight to that source images folder where your textures are. Find your fabric texture. Hmm, doesn't appear that mine downloaded. So I had to do a little more searching. Um, when I downloaded that texture, it downloaded it as an incompatible file type, WebBP. So I had to find one that would download as a JPEG. Once I did that, now I can click open and it will install it right here. But we don't see it in the viewport yet. Now the reason we don't see it in the viewport yet is because we need to come up here to our viewport tool settings and we need to click this button right here, texture. Once we do, it will show up. Now you can see that we're gonna get some distortion in the texture right here on the edges, but we're just gonna to have to deal with that for now. The way to fix that is to put what's called UV mapping on the cushions, but I don't want to go into that in this video. And then you do the same thing for the wood pieces.
Right click, assign new material, Arnold, AI standard surface, click the color slot, 2D textures file, and then click the folder and pick one of your wood textures. I'm going to try this one first. And then we need to turn on Arnold and kind of take a look at that and see if we have a lot of distortion. I think that looks pretty good. Now we need to turn on Arnold and see what that looks like in the viewport. And that looks really good. However, you can see here that the top of the cushion is shiny. You will probably have the same problem. To fix that, select one of the cushions and then go to the Attributes Editor and find your material. And it's always a good practice to rename your material. So I'm going to rename this one Fabric. And the shininess comes from the shininess comes from the roughness and the specular weight setting. So let's make the roughness 1. You can see that pretty much goes away. And let's make the specular weight 0 because fabric is not reflective at all. And then once we do that, we have a pretty good looking, pretty good looking chair here. And we still have some distortion in the texture right here along the edge, but we're just going to have to deal with that. Now, you can also adjust the uh, color of your texture a little bit if you want to. Like if I wanted to darken my wood up, I would select one of the objects that has that material, and then I would find that material. I'm going to go ahead and rename it while I'm here. And then we're going to go to the color slot and click that. And then, under this little place here where the file placement is, you'll see color balance. If you open that up, you'll see exposure. And you can dial that down to darken up the texture a little bit if it's too bright for you. Okay, then we need to frame our shot again and render it using the Arnold Render Preview window. And then save this image. And that is how you apply materials and textures to make your objects look more realistic. Hope you enjoyed this project, and I'll see you in the next one.